Welcome to Tea Talk with Comedians. My guest is Miss Asla Akpay today. Cheers, Asla. Cheers. We're definitely drinking tea. Hey, Asla, how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. you. You're fine. You're I'm, talking I'm, a bit American there. I, I don't yeah. know why. I'm, yeah. Mostly because I'm from United States of America. United States, so. Texas. Texas. I can't really do the accent. No, I can't really do the accent either. Um, tell me about yourself, Hustler. Okay. So who the hell am I? Well, yeah. I uh, I grew up in London, um, and. I studied psychology, I studied law, I worked in the psychology business for a little while, and then I started working in the television business, making children's TV programs at the BBC. That was good fun. While working at the BBC, I um, started doing stand-up comedy. And uh, when I was in living, living in London, it was more of a, it was more of a hobby, to be honest. Um, I didn't really go crazy into the comedy scene, but I was doing some gigs. Um, I did the Edinburgh Fringe Festival five times, did five different shows. And when you say five, that means you do 25 shows. So 25 times five. It's crazy. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival is great. Anyhow, I moved to Istanbul in 2014 and I started the Turkish Open Mic Comicrofon with a friend of mine. That's still ongoing. It's really good fun. Then I started an English um, stand-up comedy show called Take Me Out the Bosphorus where I bought comedians over from the UK, friends of mine, comedians I really like. We were doing the shows at Hard Rock Cafe and then Hard Rock sadly shut down. However, as I had started doing the English stand-up shows, slowly I realized that Turkish people also wanted to do English stand-up comedy like yourself. And with the open mic nights um, with Take Me Out the Bosphorus, more and more people started getting better and better and doing English stand-up comedy. And then you started Stand Up Turkey, which I'm a host of, obviously, because I'm a good host. Um, the best host in town. Oh, yeah. Um, it's going well. It's interesting. I mean, Stand Up is growing in Turkey. I mean, I've seen it. I've helped it grow and I've been watching it grow. And then I also started... Um, I was a part of Chokta Fifi. I was. I still am. I still am a part of Chokta Fifi Hatunar. We've been doing shows for the last two, three years. It's six women, and uh, somehow they let me in. No, because uh, <laughs> I'm quite a tomboy. But yeah, but not really. But sometimes. Anyway, so six women, and uh, you know, we started sh- doing shows in Istanbul. We started at uh, Bekame Mutfak. We did shows at uh, Old City. Living Room, Kadıköy, Karga, and then we started going outside of Istanbul. So we went to Bursa, İzmir, Eskişehir, Ankara, Adana. That was interesting. And uh, at the end of not even Turkey, well, well, Adana, well, kind of in Turkey. (laughs) No, you know, Adana. And then we went in at the end of October. We went to Berlin and we did two shows with Chokta Fifi in Berlin. So it's strange that I have, um, I never thought that I'd be a professional comedian, but I guess I am because I'm making money from this now, you know? So yeah, that's a little summary of my comedy CV, I guess. And you talked about Fringe Festival. How many years has it been now that you performed there? So the first ever show that I did at the Fringe was in 2010. I did one show in 2010. I think I did two shows in 2011. I did one show in 2012. And then I moved to Turkey. And so I wasn't, I didn't really go that, but I was going and watching shows and doing spots. And then in 2017, I did another Edinburgh show. And last year I went to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and I performed like 50 times, which was really, really good fun. I mean, the Edinburgh Fringe is fantastic. And the Istanbul Comedy Festival, um, it was their third one this year. And so that's really, really good news for Turkey and for Istanbul. The Istanbul Comedy Festival is great. And, um, you know, hopefully it's it's getting bigger every single year. There's a, there are more and more shows, more and more shows. And um, 
yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting times for Turkey. It's nice to be somewhere where things are, where you can watch the beginning of a, you know, the beginning of the industry. The grassroots. Exactly. Basically. See what's happening. So it's been almost five years since you moved to Turkey, right? Yeah. Why did you make the jump? Because normally in Turkey, the people are trying to do the other way around. Yep, exactly. And Turkish people ask me this all of the time. And so I have to make something up. So I normally <laughs> tell them that I came here for the cockroach. Because um, <laughs> I love it. But of course, it's not for the cockroach. I mean, to be honest, if you've been, if you've been, you know, you've been to Europe, if people, you know, viewers have been to Europe, it is... Really, the weather really, really gets you down after a while, you know, it being dark and rainy all of the time. And so that's one thing. But I also always wanted to try living in Istanbul because it's an exciting city. It's always, it's a 24-hour city. There's always something happening. And I wanted to try living here. I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if I'd stay. But it looks like I'm staying. I mean, because the comedy business is going well. So, you know... I'm here for the minute. Let's see what happens. Great. Great. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'd like to thank Miss Asla Akbay for having a tea talk with me. And check out the Stand Up Turkey videos for more tea talks and more stuff. So... He told me he did this, the camera guy. He went like that. He said, take it. He, he's bored already of us. He's bored of us already. Taha, really. Anyway. <laughs>